Good morning, first graders. Welcome to another whole group reading lesson. Today we are doing the lesson for unit six, week one, day two. So let's do it, you guys. You are amazing. Now, remember, we are learning about variant vowel spellings using digraphs. That title is wrong. I forgot to change it. My bad. Um, we are focusing on our spoon card. What is the name of this card? Spoon. Very good. And what sound does it stand for? That's right. Ooh, very good. And let's review our spellings. Ready? Let's do these together. O, O, U, consonant E, U, consonant E, W, U, E, O, U, U, I. Very good. Now, here is a list of words that use our oo sound. Uh, we did the top three lines yesterday. We're just going to do the top line just to review what that oo says. So, ready? Starting at the left side, going over to the right. Let's read that top line together. Spoon. Room. Soon. Tools. Now, we're going to skip down two lines to the bottom line, to the word that is spelled S-O-U-P. And we are now going to also look at some words that have that O-U and that U consonant E spelling. So let's read these four bottom words together. Ready? Soup. Tune. Rude. You. Very good reading, my friends. Here are our sight words. Remember, you can do any movements that you would like. Go ahead, write it with your finger in the air, or write it with your nose, or however you want while we spell it out. Let's say the word first. Ready? Answer. Very good. Spell it. A-N-S-W-E-R. Answer. And let's read the sentence. There is always an answer to a question. This next word, remember what it is? Brought. Very good. Let's spell it. B-R-O-U-G-H-T. Brought. Let's read that sentence. My mom brought me some food to eat. And let's read this next one. Ready? Busy. B-U-S-Y. Busy. And the sentence. The last month of school is going to be busy. What is this word? Door. Very good. D-O-O-R. Door. Let's read the sentence. Would you please shut the door? What is this word? Enough. Very good. Let's spell it. E-N-O-U-G-H. Enough. And let's read that sentence. I have had enough of the rainy weather. What is this word? Eyes. Very good. E-Y-E-S. Eyes. Let's read the sentence. What color are your eyes? Now, here are some words from today's story. Remember, I told you we are doing four different stories this week because you guys are that awesome of readers. So, Go ahead and look at that top line. We're going to again go from left to right, from top to bottom, reading these words together. Ready? Dudes, cougars, flutes, coupon, jude, group, tunes, youth. Very good. And here are our phrases. And I know you're looking at this going, oh my gosh, so many phrases but I know you can do it. So take a deep breath <sighs> and sit up nice and tall. And let's read these together. We're going to start on the left side, going from top to bottom. Ready? June and Jude, a flute group that we can use the flute youth. Now to the right side, ready to lots of tunes. I brought a coupon, the flute dudes, the Cougars. All right, here are our sentences. Let's look at this top one. Notice at the very end, there is an exclamation mark. So I want you to be excited when you read it. And let's read this together. I brought a coupon that we can use. 
we can get five flutes. All right, let's look at the bottom sentence. And let's read it together, ready? We can play in a band and make up fun tunes. Hmm, I wonder what we're gonna read about. Here is our story for today. This one is called The Flute Youth. Let's read this together from the title all the way down to the bottom. You guys have got this. Ready? The Flute Youth. June and Jude are good pals. They like to listen to lots of tunes. They like the sound of loud drums and the noise of a big sax. One day, June said, let's start a flute group. We can play in a band and make up fun tunes. With wide eyes, Jude said, oh boy, that sounds like fun. We can go to each door and ask our pals. I hope we get enough answers to start our band. Jude and June found many pals to join them. Then they went to a busy store that had things for the band. We need to buy the right stuff. I brought a coupon that we can use. We can get five flutes, said June. The band needed one last thing. What should our name be? The flute dudes? The cougars? asked Jude. June said, I like those names you have, but I think we need a name that fits us best. We should be called the Flute Youth. Good reading. Give yourself a high five because that was amazing. We are going to talk about suffixes, which are endings of words. So the suffixes that we're looking at are the suffixes of full and less. So if I add full to the end of a word, it means full or full of. So let's look at the words in the box. The word is help. If I add full to the end of help, that means full of help. So if someone is helpful, they are full of help. If I add less to the end of a word, it means without. So if I say help less, that means that it is without help or it does not help at all. So looking at these words in this box, let's go through and let's figure out what they mean based off of the suffixes that have been added. So the top word is fearful. What would that mean? Fearful. Full of fear. Very good. Let's look at the next one. Joyful. Full of joy. Very good. Toothless. That's right. Without teeth without, you can't say without tooths because that's not the right plural. So without teeth, very good. What about useless? Without use, very good. You guys are picking this up so well. We have reached the end of another whole group reading lesson. You are absolutely amazing readers and I can't wait for another whole group reading lesson tomorrow. Bye friends.